And this is what the race action looked like last year. Our racers in this moto, once again, Scott Clark, Greg Hill, Harry Larry, Clint Miller, Stu Thompson, Pete Longkarevich, Eric Roop, and Greg Grubbs. Greg Hill at this point, a odds out favorite of going number one overall. He's been playing this far all the way through. Dean, any comments? Keep an eye on the two inside positions between uh, Greg Hill and that spoiler, Pistol Pete. That's Miller in second place. So it's Hill, Miller, Leary on the outside in third, and we've got Longkarevich in fourth. Again, these pros do two laps around spot right now number three greg hill the last stop on the super circuit was in los angeles he won three out of three mains that means finishing number one although in this time around the first two rounds were won by Stu thompson we've got greg hill out on a real storm barger here and greg hill would like to finish up being number overall number one with a nice win here keep an eye on leary miller and lonkarevich now it looks like just miller and lonkarevich drop back a little bit but keep an eye on leary he can very well pull the last minute pass here Anything's possible. These pro mains will really be going back and forth. The 15 grand is going to be up for grabs. Here comes Greg Hill and Harry Larry, followed by Clint Miller and Pete Longkarevich. Last year, we saw the best riders in the world, and this year, it's no different. It's the same. The faces are different, but the names are changed, and the money is flowing from everywhere. It's the professional part of the World Championship of Bicycle Motocross, and our expert is Dean Bradley. Well, Randy, we're going to have an extremely exciting show here today. We've assembled some of the top pros in the nation. They're going for $7,500. First prize. Okay, here we are, Dean, right here at the first semi-pro open, and we've got some tough riders here. You want to tell us who they are and what do you think about them? Well, on the outside of the gate is uh, Sean Texas. He's been doing extremely well up to this point, and he is going to be a top contender, as well as uh, Pete Lonkarevich. Pete is the uh, number one plate there in uh, the number six uh, starting position. Next to him, uh, Sean Speed, also a great pro, uh, great up-and-coming pro, I should say. He's not, uh, He hasn't been around quite as long as these other pros. And next to him is Mike Polson. So those are pretty much my favorite right there so if you keep an eye on the center gate uh, as well as that outside starting position held by Sean Texas I think you're gonna see a lot of uh, dicing as they come down that uh, starting hill boy that Sean Texas is a big fella he looks like man mountain Dean to me I've never seen a guy that big before okay and they're off and down the road Dean it's uh oh it looks like long coverage pistol Pete right out in the lead right from the start he's That's got that's right, Longkarevich is known for his lightning fast starts, and you can see he's pulled out a couple bike length lead down that second straightaway. But uh, don't discount Kirk Crisco. Kirk Crisco's in second place there, and he uh, could very well pull up on Longkarevich through those quads. I can see why they say Longkarevich is the man to beat this year. He really looks strong. Look at the muscles in that guy's arm as he pulls up and going across the track, and it is beat. Oh, what a race. That was a great race, and as you can see, Longkarevich really wasn't very tired when he came around to the finish. I don't think he was giving it his all. He uh, is riding extremely well. He almost looked effortless. We got the second one on the line now, the second stanza of the semi-pro open. And wait a minute. We're... Okay, and as you can see, uh, Longkarevich is just coasting across the finish line there. He... 